this game, it feels fine. I, I, I look at this build and I feel so bad. Like, Radiant it feels so scan. inefficient when you have two empty inventory slots and a stout shield. Yeah. Oh, hello. BKB used. Puku is in with the Death Ward down. 1437 turns to fight, but this is a scrappy, messy battle. Wyvern coming in, looking for a curse onto someone, but he's going to have to throw it soon. He holds on to it, keeps it going with the magnetizer from Jabs, doing the damage. They've got Mushi arriving, and Sam H going to take a fall here as a double kill for the TB does get them into oh, a nice position. But Tim's, even with that first strike, opening up the Sunder onto Mushi. Now the curse arrives, buys the time, full extraction from Maneski as they are happy with what they've got so far. Tim's looking for a little bit more though. TNC oh scrambling God, for something, but Tim's still alive. The urn is ticking over, but he's going to be fine. Wow, that was a crazy scrappy engagement. If you get, oh, if you get a fiend script. Cancelled immediately though. And yeah. now Tim's, oh, he's been baited in by his teammate. One, four, three, seven's made the call to go in, but Mushi stands. Big, tall, and strong on this high ground ramp. Cuckoo trying to deal with this as Raven moves forward. Mushi now BKB is wearing off. He's thinking twice about reinitiating as Jabs rolls away. Winter's Curse is there as the surge onto Cuckoo pushes him forward. Now with a silence, is there anything to get out of this? Mushi vacuumed back. He's got himself an Aegis, but he is inside that cold embrace. Oh, oh no! no. Sunder back with Lois Orb there is not looking good, but Maneski still have a lot in the tank. Down goes DK, buyback force from the Sam King, but Mushi, he's still alive, ripping the people apart. The Sunder comes out again, Sam King dropping low as Moon gives away his life to a triple kill for Raven. Can and Sunder for days? Mushi really can. He has another one to go. Sunder him already, just do it. Silver just get some ready. HP. Reflection. Into the Yule, Sanking, channeling up the epicenter, burst strike in, can he get it out? Wow. No, Raven says, good night, Mushi. What would you like on your pizza, mate? With an ultra kill for Raven, he, uh, yeah. he's water rapier. Yeah, you have to at this point. Like, you don't have a puck for one minute. That's going to be mega creeps. You have to kill the enemy right now or you're going to lose the game. Well, Mushi, he's ready. Winter Warven buys back. In comes Ice Ice Ice. The damage in from Mushi. He's going to clear up at least one kill here. But he needs to BKB. He needs to get the Sunder off. He doesn't have a BKB because he used it already, didn't he? TP'd out, but now he's dead for 100 seconds. This might just but be it. Ice, ice 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 has it, though, but he dies too. Drops his own rapier. 1437. Come on, my dude. Pick up the rapier. You know, ping it. I don't know. Don't ping oh, it. Tims. Pick it up. Tim's has it. Tim's rapier. Go Come on, Tim's. Get in there. Go get him. Oh, there's no one to kill. Mark is all dead. Oh. Right, the courier is safe. They just cannot get this thing off the tower. Yeah, it's one of those things where if you try and have a hero push it out, that's they're so exposed down there because now we have been sitting around there. Oh, going for the ancient is not easy. Gets caught by the ice blast and with the shatter effect on him. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't gonna do too much. Absolutely for a counterplay is EG as they are gonna go snowballing forward, trying to get get Sphere into it, hasn't silenced the chronosphere is there! <laughs> oh this set up everything up perfectly! Oh it's a disaster for EG! They get lined up, taken out, crystallize even gets a time walk away, does end up dying still, but if they can bring down Fear, Fear's already gotten one kill for himself, may find a second as General's dead as well. This Death Prophet, level 2 ultimate, proving to be a bit too much to deal with, and I don't think Roger wants to go in for round 3. They get a deep one just expiring, but there it goes. The Exorcism to the pit. Yep. He gets clipped by it, and that healing was not going to be He's in trouble here if he's not careful. The Blade 3 does have an extra second duration from the Talent. Likely to be bullied out of this pit if they're not careful. Here come Navi. Can they stop this Roche from happening? The Exorcism. Try and stay split in the crowd. For a little bit longer. Even taking the fight after Roshan with Exorcism wearing off could be to their advantage here. Yeah, he's got another Blade 3 up. He's going to dodge the fire strike with that. But here comes Chrono. Catches up forward. The ticket to follow up. The damage from General's Avalanche dodge is there as well. Navi eviscerate EG. Epicenter just for the. Well. He didn't need it, but he'll throw it out anyways. I think he <laughs> didn't expect that fight to be as straightforward as it was, but when you've got chronos like that, crystallize. Absolutely beautiful setup. We'll complete the team wipe, even in a small area. Uh, this idea of go heavy center bar strike in, they're gonna go in, try and burst down the jug, but the snowball save the blink in from Tusk, gets her TZ out of there. Now this cure back from two males, not the same thing up for the chronos here God. still catching two as they'll burst down the wall walk, and it looks like the jug could be next. The Magnus goes down, Jug using the Omni Slash, buying himself some time here, has got a Spirit Vessel on which will mantle off, goes down, Fear now going to use himself up in Exes and trying to do what damage he can, but he's completely alone other than the Tusk, who will help Sempa kill the Sankey, but they'll pay for this regardless. Five down, only a Sankey kill. Navi's team fight just completely outclassing and really outplaying EG right now.
This night that just came through here. And the Avalanche will not catch it onto the snowballing cut. Let me set it for a sec. It'll just be used for a simple. Why the hell not? Chronosphere oh going in. Crystallize, that please. Too. And then go catches three as Crystallize is just unstoppable. It's silly. GG is called Misery Nose. This one is over. This one is done for. Right? GG have been the best. Name. One. Yeah, that one was a very nice award there from Seneco. Helping out. The, the Glimmer Capes there from Thunder, keeping Silar alive. Turns back in, the Lincoln's blocking, protecting himself. The young 11 coming through. Can they kill him? Oh once he's so low? Can they kill Silar even once? They can't. He just turns and kills them. Three dead buyback from the Kunka. They're going to have to buy back on the Luna. It's falling apart. This decision, this timing of getting the Rapier is doing so much. They have lost Kamala. And now Thunder, uh, they'll play it safe. As soon as one's gone, they say we're out of there. But the X mark comes through. Yang will be dragged back after delivering his team back to safety. Does go for the TP play. They've got, they've not got anywhere to cancel it. He still gets out of there nonetheless. Beginning to find. Gee, in a bit of an awkward position here. They're getting pushed apart. A little bit of split here. Uh, Got to be very careful of how this fight is. Paparazzi's out. He's bailing. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Oh, uh, they will grab the grab the tide. Need to move forward. Root out onto two. This is looking pretty risky for VG. BKB will be public karma. The head for Fenrir turns with the paralyzing cards. And Fenrir will pay off his life. Maybe worth it if they can get the rest out of there. But they're turning. Young 11. He commits with the BKB. They have the axe on Luna. It's a lot of damage with the Eclipse. The boat flies through. They're taking down the river. They're taking down the Night Stalker. Tom for ladder. Catch it up to two. Paparazzi committee with the BKB, but Silent turns. He will be able to force them back with the snipe, but the Hex comes through. He's been picked up for once. Yang falling very, very low on the sidelines. Look, Karma, he's back in. They've managed to take down Tinker. They've managed to find Luna. It's an ultra kill for Zyla. Young 11 in the tree line. Will he get himself out of there? He won't. GG will be called, but the rampage is there for Zyla. As he ends the game. Godlike on his Medusa. 9 1 for 10. GG. VGJ Thunder. That's pretty much the guy who won out Fiend Script a lot of the time, so yeah, that's how. Oh. Well, Miracle spots our man. Oh god. <laughs> Goodbye, Witch Doctor. Oh, the cask bouncing back and forth. Oh, Miracle will get stunned up again, but DNZ's walked into the danger zone here. Crippling Fear is there, giving that miss chance, but Miracle, even under this tier one, battles up against Boogie, slams him down, but the duel comes through. Boogie, are you sure scared. you wanted to do this? Oh, a double kill for Miracle. He turns turn around. He's going to try and battle DNZ. The miss chance oh, is not coming through, but Miracle's alive. That has a stun level two with a walk right to go as well, but Penta. And they're not oh, slow to make something me, happen with it. Mid lane. Arc oh, dies. They're like, oh, they have four heroes committed to trying to kill Miracle. Death fools. Legion here potentially. They see the Timber Man. They want to kill him, but they're in for a treat. Yeah, Boogie is caught almost immediately blown up here, but has a little bit of HP regen to keep him going for a while. Magnetized, though, seems to be a little bit too much to handle as Mind Control looks to secure the Fiend kill. Strip? There's the Fiend Strip. Oh, he got one. Nothing to cancel at this time as they do get the numbers advantage. Oliver stunned as he tries to TP out. Has his ultimate ready to go, but he's going to have to pop it early here. The Nightmare holds him in place. Oliver, he's in trouble. Gets the shield off, but it is inevitable he'll fall. Wow, that's going to mean a lot of damage mid. He wanted to TP because mid tower was already under pressure from Miracle, but he TP's a little bit too close to the enemy. And now instead, more pressure is being added. How is Miracle just here on a tier 3? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, he's, he just A clicks down the mid, and that's what happened. Where he found himself. Could be losing the Aegis here, maybe. Or, maybe. or winning a duel. You never know. Well, Mind Control looks to put a stop to all of this nonsense. Around on by DNZ and dueled up himself, but Kurofi could look the Nightmare, the three-man boulder smash with a god strength. Miracle clears up almost three himself, but GH, great setup there with the stuns and Penta. The guy they run into. Triano, he's found, Ramsey sees him. There's the TV with a reflection to Snowball, Static Storm to follow, and Solo has managed to keep that Lycan locked down for long enough. The Dream Coil won't land onto the real... Arc Warden here, as no one does. Keep moving forward, though, with the shards in, not quite connecting as they'd like. Costa Bill is still going to get hit by the Yules here, but Clockwork arriving with a Cogs to push them back will buy time. Solo has to be careful. He's well. not quite as tanky. Well, lilo has gone into tier threes. He's dead, but Costa Bill, oh, the shards. He's got himself inside the magnetic field, but in comes the Puck with the Jaunt and the Orb and the Waiting Rift to deal the damage. The Sunder back onto Bardino. Keeps Ramses alive and VP running rampant here. Oh, one God. by one, They're FG are falling. falling down. And it body might just blocks. be a full wipe. No one, he's nearly got the body blocks. <laughs>
Wow. Darkseer survives. Still, VP losing two supports. Can't really get any big damage in on the stop. It is easier to do so when you have no one on Puck in your team. Making all that space. Played quite a few games with no one, and it, uh, I, I don't, I don't dislike. It. <laughs> oh, the VP! You set yourselves up for that one. Oh, nice attempt, but still, down goes the clockwork. SG losing one into two, but now the damage with Lycan and the Zarp Warden oh, starting to add up. Aegis Look at this Aegis on it. the floor. The Lycan grabs it. Ramsey's is going to get out of here. VP, you have made a monumental cock up. Have you just thrown away this lead that you've had? It looks like oh, it. But no, so Ramsey is too big. Stands his ground, rips them apart. Solo's there with them as well. That looked like an absolute mess as VP line up ducks in a row to block the hook shot coming in, but set up for a great vacuum. I don't even know if you need to pluralize seconds. Is he just immediately ready to go again? They shift once more. Vacuum wall does catch two, but it's the hook shot into the back that matters the most. The other call not able to keep. VP locked down and SG, even on their high ground, being absolutely shredded. No one is deep. Looking for Bardino here. A few more clicks should secure the kill, but Buda Restoration keeps him alive as in the back end. The Lycans run into his own demise. Body blocked up a little bit by Pasha, but oh it's not dive God. in from Ramsey no and no one as he gets a double kill in the back end. No, not in the back end. In the fountain, he gets a, uh, a double kill. He was diving what? into the fountain and killing them. So, to be fair, we have seen games before that's happened. I guess it just happens. He hasn't bought any of the pieces for no, the flight, so I'm assuming no, no. he's just gonna rush the ball. Yeah, yeah. Mid lane. There you go. It's gonna turn out. Dope comes forward with the a beach grip. Very nicely done there from TDC. Coming out to SCCC. Not quite enough as KP will come across, able to disrupt it. Goes into the anchor smash, trying to force back these Prama splits. They're diving in. They'll be able to keep the OD alive. As newbie, now with KP on the front lines, he's out of mana, he's getting controlled up by OP and Arfu with the impetus, it's enough damage, Tide taken down as well, they found two, Mugi gets the toss back onto DDC, but it actually possesses he's in a bit of a risky position, takes the brains out, and another impetus, that's going to be a double kill for Arfu, and well the TP's coming back through, Arfu continuing to try and go ham, he's now out of mana, and they're a little bit deep now, I love why the tracks are out, they don't want to give up too many of these track kills, but they already are, it's a double kill for Kaka, in flame, already trying to get himself away from this side, they've got the control, onto OP, still a little too tanky, now Mone on the troll turns up, looks towards Faith, they've got the slow for the other Dragonborn, Kaka is desperately looking for the kill, he will find it, it's a triple kill for the bounty, OP and Mone do find Faith, probably the second time that the Disruptor goes down in that fight. Or just fight with all the ulties versus it, it's, it is very tough for other fight. Look at this, they found themselves, the brew, he does have a problem split available, but he's not going to get the chance to use it, or is he the Ravage comes what? through? The last millisecond he's able to get out the ultimate, and now LFY looking for the turnaround. They're moving on to the OD, take down SCCC. There's no Ravage, of course, it's already been expended. It. Newbie, they're still going to try and come in for the fight, jump forward. They'll take down Monet on the troll. With the field down, controlling them, but DDC from the sidelines with the Fiend script, holding Mugi in place. Arfu trying to get the damage through with the impetus. Has he got enough mana to do the job? It doesn't look like he has. So now LFY, once again, they're the ones in trouble. Wow. Double kill for KP as he picks up two with the cleave of the tree. That's Newbie. Get three, can they get more? They've got the glimpse back onto OP. That track vision again setting up so much. There is going to be action towards the bottom lane. Queen is first of all pushing top, but needs to TP right now. Oh, a grip onto Sand King. Nice cancel there into the two man burrow strike. Mu is surviving with a soul rip from Kyle. He got him. pain finally arrives though as Milan into the Ancients denies out to the neutrals, <laughs> but the grip stolen by Z Freak turns it back again. Dog, they're in very deep here, trying to break the ranks of complexity. But the Phantom Lance has managed to dodge and evade all of his initiations, and now the Solo Sonic wave onto Kyle. And Kyle alone means the Undying has died, but the chase is on the silence now over on Chessy. z -Freak tries to save his mates, does get the telekinesis back onto Dijirah, but the Phantom Lance are in all sorts of the trouble. Double yes. Burrow Strike from Moo, Doppelganger now. Chessy sprinting away back to the shrine, oh. heal him up, keep him alive. Can <laughs> you do it? Chessy surviving somehow, but he will finally die. It is now down to Moo to turn it back onto Dijirah, but the Rappel is there. Boris Strike Epicenter do nothing and Limp struggling to dish the damage out. The Nightmare saves oh, but J4 oh. unable to keep his mate alive. Dijira does finally die. In fact, Waka Mama, everyone's dying. It's just no one's surviving. Boronya will get away. The Queen of Pain escapes for now. But look oh. who's chasing. Oh, yes, Moves ready. running forward. Boris Strike in and with Limp's damage, maybe enough, but no. I don't know. She's not safe yet. Here's the use. Oh, Boronya. 
cancelled again. Lim needs a couple of hits, but the, the blink, blink down up to the He's north. Latching He's latching on just keep on chasing. It's relentless. It does not cease. Complexity. Sure, off the back of a solo pickup. They have to do something right now. This is the goal moment for Planet Dog. They have to make something happen. Yeah. They're going. The repel though quickly and onto Chessie means that he's got free reign to run through this fight. Maybe they kill off move, but he gets a GA off in time. Oh. Purification bomb is there and Milan. Oh, he's dead. Screwed over. Uh, PD, they're over. done. Game is over and GG is called. Milan taps out. And that's it for PD. Complexity will progress. Then you're still liable for death. It's an awkward fight. You can't, it's not easy to just take these blind fights because you don't have vision, right? Yeah. You almost never want to just go for these blind jumps. There's the lasso pull, but the jump in for the Storms here, they're immediately going to drop off Aces. He starts focusing on Eternal Envy. Fortunately, the heals come out from the Chen, the setback as well. So that's going to be enough to protect him. And all it means is the Elder Titan is the one who ends up dying here. Another setback. Oh, they Good got one. that Storm Spear. Great play from Abed, able to chase him down. Now Puppy's going to be slowed down by the Sticky Napalm as well. He's going to have a hard time getting out of this. Kinetic Field trying to protect him as much as possible. Fada will actually provide some reinforcements here. Draining onto DJ. Ace slows him down just enough. They're going to be able to pick up that one kill, but Eternal Heavy standing strong, feeling that the Tinker is going to be able to back him up here, but Ace is right on top, and they do have that Shadow Blade to be able to get himself out of there. Universe, though, but the Hex already up. Now, the Life Stealer in serious trouble is going to end up dying as they tried to go on to Eternal Heavy, but sure enough, Fnatic still had the numbers for this engagement, and show it here. Spot is actually still going to be end up dying. Oh, he, he is making such aggressive blink plays, and it is paying off big-time dividends for Fnatic. What a serious comeback in that last team fight. But Troll's starting to get a little bit low, and secret. It's enough easy. He's fighting the world. Oh, jeez. This OD is just going to stumble straight to a world of hurt. Nice combination there with a uh, pilot eye getting the extra disabled with the cogs push. Unfortunately, it just didn't have a damage to be able to finish him off. Now, Universe. An awkward bit of space there. Actually gets his repel stolen away from him. Vada thinking about a Ravage. Actually going to be hexed up. Turned around. A little bit more control from DJ as he shackles committing his life for this one. His ace comes in with a BKB. Finally, Ravage does hit. Managed to hit the Monkey King up in the trees as well. Eternal Levy's in a really great position to be able to lay out an ultimate if he wants to. Actually, goes and tries to finish on mid one. Needs a little bit more damage. Can't quite get it. The cards go out for Pilot Die, but the Repel is still there on the mid one. Yapsor is saving mid one's life long enough for him to be able to get down the ultimate. Finally, he goes down, but it might just be a little bit too late. He may kill the OD, but it's going to cost off at his life as low. well. They full on committed to bring down mid one. Yeah, Fnatic are going to be in a really good position to be able to fight this one. Really they nice the but they managed to get the force staff outside of that ultimate. Now, Eternal Empty is kind of stuck in a position. He didn't want. Bot is actually going to go into the Roshan pit. What is he doing over there? Bada just died. Dies. Now the push from Pilot Die actually pushes in the Zanking into the uh, ultimate oh, as well. DJ is taking up so much of right, the time right now. They're, They're still trying to push They do manage to get the Aegis as well as the Cheese. Now the fight continues. Mid one's already stolen a lot of intelligence, but the big cores are here. Universe pops the ultimate, turns and fights up against Mid one, drops the ultimate, a big bomb does a oh, good amount of damage. Did. He actually finishes off the Monkey King. He gets so much out from Puppy as well as they turn this fight and win it. Secret. I thought they were going to get overwhelmed for a second there, but it looks like the OD is just too big, too bad. Damage onto the tier 2. The rest of VP is coming to back him up. VGJ Thunder are going to be there to look for the 5. Boulder Smash comes in onto Lil. Silence onto 3. Kamai zipping straight in. They've got the Doom down as well onto the Dragonite. Winter's Curse laid down, holds back the Dazzle, allows the team to kill their own Dazzle. Silence taken down as well by the Impetus. They do lose the DK as he goes. Oh, no, it's another deny. He was a Pasha was able to deny the DK who was doomed. So a second denied target. Lil by the looks of it may just survive and VGJ Thunder they don't look quite as lucky. Fate's got to get out. Storm can't escape. He's out of mana. Jump four from Pasha. He's going to be able to take down the Earth Spirit. They've lost four yet again. Ble and he's lurking back there. Let's see what they can do with this already. VP, uh, that's going to be the Doom drop down onto Ramsey. Pasha jumps in, manages to get the Dream Call though. Onto three of them. They'll get the toss as well, procking the stun. That's the Earth Spirit down, but they have lost the Wyvern. The Doom as well on Ramsey's, meaning that it's set up there for Kama to come in. Finish off the kill. VGJ Thunder, they find two. They're looking for more. Sylar, desperately trying to chase down no one. Has he got the damage to bring him down once he has? That's going to be the Aegis pop. Lil being focused by Yang and Io. He's surrounded by the Doom. Sylar has lost the ultimate form, but the heal's gone off Lil. Lil should tick down one more touch. Roll right click from the Dazzle and do it. That's going to be a third down on VP. No one will be able to keep his second life intact. Pasha's still alive, but as you were mentioning, great wraparound from PGJ Thunder. VP though, they're not done. They look to jump back in. No one has the quick one-two combo. Able to blow down the Doom. They have the Vortex. Dragging back in. No one. Do they have the damage to bring down this Tiny? He's just turning towards Karma. Karma's lower mana. He's only got a little bit left trying to zip back in range, <laughs> but they have to respect this Tiny. But the song comes out from Fate. Puts a stop to it. Right. See if they want to react. Io coming in, looking for the position. Doesn't see the opportunity and won't go for it, but Lil actually with the Storm asleep coming in. Instantly 
stop those, it was enough to hold Io in position, put the cooldown to connect, the takedown disruptor. Whereas Drove from Pasha as he looks to split, try and pull the team apart. Solo falling low, wants the global heal. Karma and Yang chasing down the chamber, they can't quite do it. No one jumps forward, tosses Pala back into the hands of the Jaro. The Ravage comes through, but it looks like it doesn't matter. They've lost a second on the side of VGJ Thunder. Yang, Sala and Fed having to back up. The stolen Ravage well. from Lil sets up onto Yang. He's surrounded by four. It'll be more than enough damage for VP to take down the Tide as well. Sila on the side with that Shadow Blade. He's eyeing up no one. He's going to make a bit of an attempt onto this. No one falling low. Turns with the Apple Jump. Tosses the DK back into the hands of Pasha and Lil. They don't have quite enough damage on themselves to bring him down over there. Have with the help of Ramses. Ramses able to sweep across behind the tier one. They get the kill on the DK. Sure, they lose no one, but overall, VP, they're just going and going and going. Double kill for Ramses as him and Pasha catch out Fade in the tree line. Ramses now potentially in trouble. Gets dragged back. Thomas TP in. Ramses, he's trying to man find him, he's got the back of a solo, it doesn't matter, Ramses will fall, but Pasha does manage to finish off the kill of Takama, the tower is coming from a solo, a with the smoke, jukes out the final right click of the tower, Pasha Sandstorm, he can't get himself out, the sentry is down, Io will get the double kill. Towards mid, VP leaning in, jump four from Pasha, first try comes to one, that has to be the backup for Yang, but it's enough, there's a homing missile connected, in fact, Yang, he's already gonna get taken down, Ramsey's moves up with the BKB in the rock, bro, takes down one, telekinesis from Lil, holding Silo in place, step with the flag cannon, cooldown, will not connect onto the Silo, able to get the BKB and time, healed up as well by the Spirit Vessel from Fade, and now they look for the turnaround, Static Storm comes out onto Ramsey's, with the BKB already committed, Ramsey's falling low, Ramsey's kept alive though, hand of God's there from Solo, he'll survive, and now VP going to continue the fight, Ramsey's coming back in on minimal life because he has the ages. We'll get popped by the Ravage. That's going to be Ramsey's down once. VP still confident in the fighting potential that they have though as they move in. Find a third. Fade and Yang the last two left alive and they're almost certainly going to go down as well. Double kill for Ramsey's even as he picks up Fade. Tide is down as well for 65 seconds of the fact that he comes back into that engagement. So really Here we go. There's the Bling Ravage reveal. It's a good omen as they get onto Tuba with the status resistant. No one able to get the BKB out. Pretty quickly response. Oh! Step back! Oh, gets Ramsey's back just in time. He was falling so low. VGJ still find big kills though. They do get no one and they do move over to solo as well. So VGJ Thunder still able to find two. But that very nearly could have been three there. As Ramsey's very lucky to keep his life intact. That shed value of this game has been absolutely unreal. I know there's no way. Like, ugh. And he saw the support disruptor, he's throwing up Static Storm. Oh, look at this stuff, Ramsey's oh, just come back fight. in with Pasha. VGJ Thunder, and they're still the having to fight him. They only use this looks time. to be a big mistake from VP, Lil's down, Pasha, revving up the epicenter, comes in. Oh, it's a big one as well, look at this damage! Oh, the Rampage, come on now! They're chasing down Kala, the homie missile connects! <laughs> they're, they're gonna kill this man! I think he's gonna be able to they're get a Rampage. Give it to him. Come on, give it to Pasha, give it to him! He's trying to give it to him! He's got it! <laughs> Rampage for Pasha on the Sand King! It looked to be a mistake from VP! They're swinging over towards bottom lane. Oh, the Vision Oracle though. catches the Oracle, they see him coming in as... Ben Rear forced to pop some spells on himself. Doesn't have a four staff to get out of the cogs, but the damage is not enough. And then jumps to 11. Costa Bile, he's getting the kill back. No, the oh. false promise saved up. Fenrir gets it on barely in time as the primal split. It is here, looking for a kill, but it's so difficult to catch onto a target as the cogs trap him inside. Oh, Dilacor, you've killed off Adriano, potentially as Lanap turns back. Swings oh, a big old God. stapler into the head the of the brew. Young 11 arrives as over towards the southern they side. Kill Dark they as well. killed off absolutely. Absolutely everybody, Waga. Trying to get a tier one tower. At least that will be worth something. If that stop lands and DP gets the deny, I just I rage quit. I rage quit. Oh. I mean, maybe maybe now anyway with a nice Chrono coming in. Do they have the damage to finish off the Juggernaut? Can he get on his slash off? Oh, he's son stop. The DP catches him. Now dead without buyback as the Brewmaster split is doing work, but they don't have the follow through damage as this big old splitter coming in from downtown Lanham clears up another two. The post is dead to rights. It's a triple kill for Ori. Makes damn sure that Vici Gaming will get a team wipe here. Brewmaster, the last to fall, and I'm Kill for DP. They got the void HP. Who also has a 350 HP talent? Um, it's full. Here we see a roar onto Beastmaster, but he's gonna get saved. Nice disruption. And now the boss is busted out. Now the grip comes in, and Lanham is taken down. Yeah, we think he's saved, but then comes the second ultimate. I mean, as a brewmaster for a 
Bro, Beastmaster now looking for the Bane with a PL, the Illusions, chasing Bardino, and that was aggression from SG turned on its head. Vici Gaming again responding spectacularly as Paparazzi jumps in his head. Oh, the Green's gonna get the catch. Can they get a stun? There's the Aghanim's laser bouncing back with the Torrent and the Chrono. They need a save. They need a disruption. They need to get another PL. They do indeed, but Ori unable to do damage into 4DR. Paparazzi blinks forward with the blink again away from Tinker. Allows the escape. Now the Void jumping in, looking for the PL. But this went from 0 to 100, back down to 0 real freaking quickly. Oh, Tinker. Ori might still, still be in trouble. No Adriano. HP. Oh, jeez, Louise. Look at this. The doppelganger. To get the laser off and down goes Adriano. Seven the kill voice. streak down the drain. Or he's kept alive by Fenrir, who is absolutely playing. He's just respawning, he's right coming now. in. Oh dear, does he have a roar? Does he have he a does roar? He does. Oh, he With the Necro 3, he's got the oh, damage God. to kill a PL, does he? Oh, paparazzi. See you later, buddy. Fenrir goes the same way as Ori does TP back to base.